Eater, what's up, Giants fans, Hub watchers, YouTube subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers? It's your boy No Name, back at it with another New York Giants video. And yo, <laughs> yo, 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 we may, we may have not won the Chase Young Bowl. You know, we we may not get this guy Chase Young. We we may not actually uh, get the pass rusher. That can make a huge difference on this defense and thus, you know, have a huge impact on the team. But surprisingly, I ain't mad. And I ain't mad because of this dude, Daniel Jones, bro. And Saquon Barkley, too. Throw him in there, too. But Daniel Jones, listen. I asked for you to go out there and have another, like, three, four touchdown game. All right? That is one of the things I asked in my preview video. And this dude said... Two, three, four touchdowns? Nah, bro. I'm going a, I'm to a throw five. Daniel Jones in this game was amazing, bro. 28 for 42. 352 yards and five touchdowns. That's better than what some pros that are veterans have been putting up in their entire careers. 352 touchdowns and five... <laughs> 352 touchdowns. 352 yards and five touchdowns. Jesus Christ. And yo, listen. I know it's against the Redskins team. I know it's against the Redskins team that I even said in my preview video. It's probably the worst in the league. Don't look at the Bengals and think it's them. It's probably this Redskins roster right here. And then Saquon, this is his game, like his, his game back. Maybe it was last week, but this is the game where Saquon looked like Saquon. He finally had one of those big 60, 70 yard runs in the first quarter. And, you know, his, his toll came up at the end of the game. 22 carries for 189 yards. That's 8.6 yards to carry and one rushing touchdown and the receiving touchdown. Dude was our second leading receiver. Four receptions for 90 yards. Had almost 300 yards from scrimmage. Saquon ain't playing around. He's back. He's the best running back in the league. I've been... Listen, man. I've been said it, bro. Saquon is the best running back in the league. He just needed some time to recover. And you know, the, the, these two guys, man. I'm not mad about us. <laughs> Listen, I'm sad. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm a little disappointed. But I'm not mad that we that we might not get Chase Young. Because we still have a really good chance of getting Andrew Thomas to sure up that offensive line. And Daniel Jones performed the way he did today because the offensive line performed well. Once again, against a weak Redskins defense. He had a lot of protection, a lot of clean pockets, a lot of time to go through his progressions and make some good throws. And the same could be said for Saquon. He had great running lanes this game. Now, a good amount of his runs was, you know, just him being Saquon, you know, breaking ankles, uh, spinning out of tackles, you know, shoving guys, trucking them, all that. A good amount of them was that. But the offensive line performed so well today in both the pass and the run that Saquon feasted off of it too. And with Andrew Thomas, if he can be the left tackle that, he was in college, you know, if he could transfer his skills over to the NFL, and a lot of people expect that he can, you know, very much like a Quentin Nelson of uh, two years ago, even though Nelson was a guard, but, you know, similar situation, we get Andrew Thomas as our left tackle, shift Nate Solo over to right tackle because his contract is just too big to eat the, cap, um, to eat the dead cap, so you might as well shift him over to right tackle, try to get him useful, right? And the only two good offensive linemen we have on our team are Will Hernandez and um, Kevin Zeitler, our two guards. If we do that, we'll have four out of our five positions short up, and that's enough. That's enough for DJ to make his throws, and that's enough for Saquon Barkley to be the most dominant force in the NFL. And we, we've been saying this since last year. Can you, imagine, can you imagine what Saquon is like with an offensive line? It's over. It's over for the defenses of the NFL if Saquon has an actual offensive line. Like, we've, we've been saying it as Giants fans for a while, too. If Saquon has what the Dallas Cowboys offensive line is, nobody is stopping him. He will be a cheat code. He will be like Madden on the field. Nobody is stopping this dude, bro. Legend mode, all Madden mode. You can't stop him. You can't stop him. I'm just... Listen, I'm not going to focus too much on the draft repercussions... But we did drop down to the fifth overall pick, I believe, or the fourth overall. Like, the order is now Bengals, Redskins, 
uh, Detroit and then us, right? So the Bengals, they might go Joe Burrow. Redskins, they might go um, Chase Young. I don't know who Detroit is going to go with. There's a good chance they might take Andrew Thomas. And I, I don't know, man. Listen, that's another video. That's another day. And I'm not going to focus on that right now because there's just so many positives out of this game. I mean, how could it not be? We scored 41 points. It's our best offense performance since, guess what? Last year against the Redskins in the second half of the season. Can't remember the week. Uh, I think it was week 13 or 14. But... I don't know, man. The Redskins, we, we just own them, bro. Like, like no cap. I can't even, like, the Cowboys and Eagles, more so the Eagles own us, but we own the Redskins. Like, that's how it goes, man. But, like I said, like, there's a lot of positives to take out of this. Daniel Jones obviously had his best, the best game of his career. The offense had the best games of the season. But DJ, he got the ball to everybody. There, every receiver that was on the field, with the exception of Darius Slayton, and that is because he left early with an injury. He did come back later on, I think, like late in the fourth quarter and for overtime, he did come back. But be, he missed a lot of time, so he didn't really get a reception. Other than that, every single re receiver was in uh, double digits. Golden Tate, 6 for 96. Like I said, Saquon had 90. Shepard had 76 in the tub. And Shepard was doing damage out there. One thing I, I do love to, to see, man, um... I was really scared for a second earlier in the season that he was going to retire. I was really out here working for his health. I'm, I'm glad to see Sterling Shepard back on the field, and I'm glad to see that he's doing what he does best, and that's being one of the most elite route runners in the NFL and tearing up defenses from in the slot. So, Shepard, if you can stay healthy, you know, if you think it's in your best interest, and, you know, your family thinks it's in your best interest to continue to play football, you do so, man, because you're out there, you're doing a great job. Cody Latimer, 5 for 44. Caden Smith, 6 for 35 and 2 touchdowns. And before I forget, let me touch upon this topic real quick. When Caden Smith first came on the field, I didn't know who he was. And I said that in a video, I believe. I, I don't know who this guy is. He's, he's a, He was a random guy. He was a tight end that just got an opportunity because um, Ellison and um, Evan Ingram are out. And this is a topic I'm not sure if I brought it up in any video before, but I've definitely talked about it with friends and whatnot. And with what Caden Smith has been did, been doing the past couple of weeks, it's definitely something that could happen and probably should happen. The Giants could trade and maybe should trade Evan Ingram for two reasons. One, he's never healthy. And two, when he's actually is healthy, he doesn't he doesn't really do much for the offense. And what Caden Smith is doing proves that Ingram, we don't need him. We don't necessarily need a big time tight end like a top five tight end in order to be a good offense you know we don't necessarily need a big time top five tight end to be a good team like he is expendable and Caden Smith has shown that he's a good receiver you know what I'm saying a good blocker for you know all things considered you know he was what a third fourth string and he's coming in here and he's doing damage and he's being used well in the offense now once again as I said, these past two games where Smith has really shown out are against two of the worst teams in the NFL. So take it all with a grain of salt. Maybe we do need to keep Ingram. But uh, the main thing being that he's always injured like every year, that could still be a reason that the front office trades him. And in my opinion, if you're going to get like a third round pick or something for Ingram, do it. Because you could really find a you could really find a tight end anywhere, man. Like I don't know. In my opinion, tight end is probably like the least important position on the offense you know if you were to rank them out it would go quarterback um offensive line wide receiver running back or you know running back wide receiver then you know then tight end maybe fullback after if you want to count fullback i don't know but this is really proving that every room could be gone this offseason and i wouldn't be mad i mean it would be really sad to see him go because we drafted him, you know? He's a hometown kid in that sense. All mess, all that, but can't stay healthy. And I don't know. I don't know, man. Well, that's another topic for another day. Just like how the draft repercussions or I don't want to say repercussions, you know, the draft implications of this game are another topic for another day. Another thing that I love to see, um, I just, I guess going a little bit more deep into DJ, how, how this was his best game is... I said in the Miami Dolphins recap, one thing that Eli does that DJ needs to do is that he keeps the offensive line calm and he keeps them more 
organized and so they're able to protect him better because of it and Eli also you know goes through his progressions a little better just just a tad bit but that's the veteran presence and DJ did both of those today he kept the offensive line calm like I said I don't think he was ever sacked. maybe he was sacked once I don't know but the protection in this game was so great that it allowed him to do the damage that he did don't fool yourself and think he was going to do this if the offensive line was being their true self and this is not their true self this is just this is like a shot in the dark like an outlier game but it showed it showed that he had a better pocket presence today it showed that he had you know a better time reading through his progressions all of that the only problem today was that one fumble and he really has to improve on that in the offseason but Daniel Jones is that dude man he's that dude and I've been saying it for a while but now I'm truly believing it <laughs> he's that dude <laughs> yo Redskins Cowboys, Eagles, y'all really better watch out, man. Because, I mean, if the Redskins really tr really and truly get Chase Young, we got to get Andrew Thomas to counteract that, bro. Because we got to protect this dude, Daniel Jones, and we got to give Saquon a cheat code. Because if the offense can look like this on a consistent basis, scoring 30-plus points on a consistent basis, we might not need a defense. <laughs> as, as stupid as that sounds, we might not need a defense. And it, I'm not saying that I don't want a defense. I obviously want it. Because there's a reason this defense let up 35 points today. A lot of blown coverages. You know what I mean? The run defense was the only good part of it. And even then, we still gave up, um, I think, how many yards rushing? Let me check real quick. We still gave up around 80 yards rushing. And that was the only good part of our defense today, the, uh, the run stuffing. I still think that um, Leonard Williams is not worth re-signing. I'm pretty sure we're, we're good with B.J. Hill. They might re-sign him because of the run stuffing. It was really hard to get pressure today. Lorenzo Carter got one and a half sacks. Marcus Golden got half a sack. And Carter got one and a half sack because he was, he was playing a lot more up, up against the line. And I'm not really going to give Betcher credit for that because if that's something that uh, he figured out, it's, it's the second to last game of the season. You should have figured that out about 12 games ago, bro. Not giving you credit for that. That is something you should have figured out as a defensive coordinator a long time ago, considering you've had Carter on your team for two years. Um, I still don't know if Carter's that dude. Another topic for another day, but defense in general, man. A lot of wrong coverages, couldn't get pressure, all of that. It wasn't exactly a great defensive game. And that's another reason, like I said, I'm kind of disappointed, but I'm not not too much, you know, not too much. Uh, the special teams get all day has been great. We'll probably have one of the best special teams crew in the league. They were great all day, um, especially the punting unit, pinning them all the way back deep in their own territory. Uh, Aldrick Rosas, I'm pretty sure, made all his kicks today. Let me double check about that. Where is he kicking? Ah, no, he missed a field goal. Oh, I didn't even realize that. He did miss a field goal. But he made all his extra points, I'm pretty sure, yeah. But yeah, that, that, that was the game, man. It, it was great. This kid, Daniel Jones, if he could continue this, and if we could get him protection, him paired with Saquon, I don't know, man. They're going to do damage in the future. They're going to be a tough duo to take down in the future. And honestly, if they can perform like this against other teams, we don't need a star tight end and we probably don't need a star wide receiver. Because what we had out there today was a good depth filled receiving core with Saquon as a receiving threat. And honestly, that's probably all you need. But let me know what you guys all think. I'm uh, sorry this video is up about a day late, but my finals are not finally over. Stuff should get back to schedule soon. We should all be back to normal soon. But once again, thanks guys for checking it out. Put your comments down below. I love to talk to y'all. Like, share, subscribe. I'm out. Yer. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Put your comments down below. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Until next time, I'm out. Yer.